In this video, we will discuss how we can construct a binary tree from a given in order and pre order traversal using iterative method. So, the goal is given this in order and pre order traversal, we have to construct a binary tree from this. So, as we know that in order is left, root, and right, and pre order is root, left, and then right. And we also know that the first node of the pre order is the root node of the tree. So here A is the root node. So using the properties of in order and pre order, we will try to create this binary tree. Now I have already explained the recursive approach in my previous video. If you have any doubts on how we can create this tree from the in order and pre order traversal using recursive method, you can refer to that video. I will link that in the top right corner. So here we'll see how we can construct this binary tree using iterative method. So now let's see how we can do this and see the pseudocode. When we convert a recursive function to an iterative approach, we make use of stack. So here also we'll do the same. So we keep few variables like pre-index, in-index and flag. Pre-index is to keep the index for the pre-order traversal, in-index for the in-order traversal and a flag. So flag is to decide the left or the right part. So we keep a variable previous and root. So both are equal to the new tree node of value pre-order 0. So pre-order 0 is the A. So previous and root both are pointing to A. So we create a new node of value A. Because we know that the root of the tree will be the first value in the pre-order traversal. So A is the root of the tree. Then we create a stack and we push the root node. So we push A in this stack. Then we have this while loop which we run till we iterate whole of the pre-order array. Inside this we check if stack is not empty and if top of the stack is equal to the in order index. So in order index is pointing to H and the top of the stack is A. If this is not equal we come to the else part. We create a new node with the value first index of the pre-order traversal. So we create a new node with the value D. And then we check if flag is 0. So flag was 0. So previous of left is equal to node. So previous was A. So left of A will point to D which was the node. And previous will be equal to left of previous. So now previous will be D. And then we push node in the stack. So we push D. And we increment the pre-index. So pre-index will be now 2. Then in the next iteration, we again check if top of the stack is equal to the in order index. In order index is H and top of the stack is D. So these are not equal, we come in the else part. We create a new node with the second index of the pre order traversal. So second index is H. So we create a new node with the value H. And if the flag is 0, previous left will point to node. So previous was D. So left of previous will be H. And previous will be left of previous. So it will be H. And then we push node in the stack. So we push h and then we increment the pre index. So pre index will be 3. In the next step, we check if top of the stack is equal to the in order index. So now both are equal to h. So we come inside it and we set previous equal to top of the stack. So previous will be equal to h, which is the top of the stack, and we pop from it. And then we increment the in index. So it becomes 1. And we set flag to 1. Then in the next iteration, we check if top of the stack is equal to the in order index. In order index is now pointing to D. And top of the stack is also D. So these are equal. So we come inside, we set previous equal to top of the stack. So previous becomes D. We pop from the stack. We increment the in index. So it becomes 2. And the flag is 1. In the next iteration, we again check if top of the stack, which is A, is equal to the in order index. So in order index is 2, which is pointing to P. So these are not equal. We come in the else part. We create a new tree node with the third index of the pre order traversal. The third index is L. So we create a new node with the value L. If flag is 0, so flag is 1 now, we come in the else part. So previous was D. So right of D will be pointing to L. So we point right of D to L. Previous becomes right of D, which is L, and flag becomes 0. Then we push node in the stack. So we push L, 
and we increment the pre index to 4. In the next iteration, we check if top of the stack, which is L, is equal to the in order index. So, second index of the in order traversal is P. So, these are not equal. We come in the else part. We create a new tree node with the fourth index of the pre order traversal, which is P. We check if flag is 0. So, previous was L. So, left of L will point to P, and previous will be P. And then we push node in the stack. So, we push P. And we increment the pre index to 5. In the next iteration, top of the stack is P and in order index is P. So both are equal. We set previous to top of the stack, which is P. We pop from the stack. We increment the in index. And we set flag to 1. In the next iteration, top of the stack is L and the in order index is pointing to L. So both are same. We set previous to top of the stack, which is L. We pop from the stack. We increment the in index and we set flag to 1. In the next iteration, top of the stack is A and in order index is pointing to A. Both are same. We set previous to A. We pop from the stack. So stack is empty. We increment the in index and we set flag to 1. In the next iteration, so stack is empty, so this if condition is false. We come in the else part, we create a new tree node with the fifth index of the pre-order traversal. So fifth index is Z. So we create a new node with value Z. And if flag is 1, we come in the else part, we set right of A to Z, so we link this. And previous will be right of A which is Z and flag will be 0. We push Z in the stack and we increment the pre index so it becomes 6. In the next iteration, we check top of the stack which is Z and the in order index which is also Z. So both are same. So previous will be top of the stack which is Z. We pop from the stack. We increment the in index to 6. Flag becomes 1. In the next iteration, stack is empty. We come in the else part, we create a new tree node with the sixth index of the pre order traversal, which is C. Flag is 1, we come in the else part, we link Z to C, and previous becomes C. And we set flag to 0. So we push C to the stack, and we increment the pre index to 7. In the next iteration, top of the stack is C and the sixth index of the pre order is also C. So both are equal. We set previous to top of the stack. We pop from the stack. We increment the in index to 7 and we set flag to 1. In the next iteration, so stack is empty. We come in the else part. We create a new tree node with the seventh index of the pre order traversal, which is E. So node is E. Flag is 1. We come in the else part. We link C to E and previous becomes right of C which is E. Flag becomes 0. We push node in stack. So we push E and we increment the pre index to 8. In the next iteration, we come here. We check if pre index is less than pre order of size. So pre index is 8 and the size of the array is 8. So this condition is false. So we return the root node. So this is the tree that we have obtained using the iterative approach. So basically we are pushing the left nodes in the stack until the top of the stack is equal to the in order traversal. Once that is equal, we pop from the stack and then we set the left and the right node. The flag is there to check if we want to set the left node or to the right node. Once we have seen the iterative approach, let's see the implementation. So all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. In the iterative approach, in this function construct tree, I pass the in order and the pre order vectors. Here I have three variables pre index, in index, and flag. And I have a stack. So first I create the root, which is pointing to the zeroth element of the pre order index. I push that in the stack and I increment the pre index. So pre index will be 1. 
then I have this variable previous which is initially pointing to the root node. Then I run this while loop till all the elements in the pre-order array are processed. I check if top of the stack is equal to the in order index. If it is equal, I put that in the previous and I pop and I set the flag to one. Otherwise, I create a new node with the pre-order index value. And if the flag is zero, I set that to the left part. Otherwise, I set that to the right part and I set flag to zero. I push that in the stack and I increment the pre-index. Now, once the tree is constructed, I then pass the root node to the in order and pre order traversal. So, this is to check the in order and pre order traversal that we obtain from the tree are the same that were given to us. So, that would mean that we have accurately created the tree. So, let's see the output of this program. So, the tree has been constructed and the in order traversal of the constructed tree is HTPL AZCE, which is equal to what was given to us, and the pre order traversal is ADHL PZCE. So, it means the tree that we created is correct so that was all for this video if you have any feedback or suggestions please leave in the comment section below please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is sandeep thapar signing off